Hi friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do something called a foundation row. Um, foundation rows are sort of like an intermediate confident beginner crochet technique. So I'm assuming you know how to do slip knots and singles and doubles. If you need a refresher on those things, you can watch my videos on them. Um, the reason why you might do a foundation row is because it creates really nice stretch at the base of your work. So this is um, double crochets, a foundation double crochet row right down here. Um, it creates really good stretch, really nice looking V's on the bottom of your work versus um, chains, doing chains and then working double crochets into those chains. I mean, there's a limit to how much it can stretch and the limit is less than <laughs> what the foundations can do. Um, you might see this in a pattern it's abbreviated as uh, a lowercase f before your stitch so it might be f d c for foundation double crochet f s c for single crochet foundation single crochet um and uh, basically what you're doing when you're working a foundation row you're doing your chains and your first row at the same time it's pretty cool so this video shows you how to do foundation single crochets. Then I'll have a separate video on doubles and um, half doubles as well. Okay, so let's set these aside. Go ahead and get a slip knot on your hook. We're just gonna do a, a little swatch. If you need a refresher on slip knots, you can watch my video. And to do a foundation single crochet, abbreviated FSC, you're gonna start with two chains just two. All right, I'm gonna move my camera just a little bit closer because we wanna really see what we're doing here. Okay, nice and close, good. All right, so we've got two chains below our hook and we're gonna insert our hook into the first chain, first chain, um, splitting the V. So not into the back bump, just splitting the V. Picking up one loop. And now we're gonna yarn over and pull through one, that loop we just inserted into, the chain we just inserted into, I should say. Keep this nice and loose. Also notice that I'm really still just down by the tapered end of my hook. Um, so keep your work close to the nose of your hook. Um, now we're gonna create the chain. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through one, just like you would for a chain. We still have two loops on our hook. We're gonna do our single crochet now, yarn over, pull through two. So basically we've created a chain at the bottom and then a single crochet at the top at the same time. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do next is what we repeat uh, all the way across until we have the number of foundation single crochets that we need. Um, so looking at the bottom, we have, let me grab my needle. We have kind of like a figure eight almost a little bit, but these two bars that create this little loop around here, that's gonna become our chains. That's gonna become the first chain. And we're gonna insert our hook below them, below both of those loops. So we're gonna pick up those two loops on our hook. So insert your hook below both of those loops and it is fussy. You might have to use your fingers to help them onto your hook. So it kind of looks like we have three loops on our hook, but these do count as one. So we've inserted our hook below those two loops. We're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. Keep it nice and loose. Now we've got to create our chain. So that's a yarn over, pull through one. Now we got to create our single crochet. Yarn over, pull through two. So we've got chains on the bottom, single crochets on the top. Let's do that again. I'll just do, maybe we'll just do like six or eight stitches and then I'll show you how to do the next row. So insert your hook. Basically you're inserting your hook into the previous chain, the chain that you just created. So insert your hook, picking up those two loops, yarn over, pull through one. Got to create your chain first, yarn over, pull through one, single crochet, yarn over, pull through two. Keeping everything real nice and loose too. All right, let's do some more. 
Here's the two loops that we're picking up and you can see them like really create becoming V's, becoming the, the base of your chains, the bottom of your chains. Pull through one, yarn over, pull through one again, yarn over, pull through two. So that's the general pattern for single crochets. Insert into the previous chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through one, and yarn over, pull through two. And then you can see, you can count your stitches just like you usually would. We have one, two, three, four, five so far. Um, I'm just gonna do eight, so I'll do three more. Pull through one, pull through two, insert into the previous chain, yarn over one, yarn over one, yarn over two. And was that two more? I have to count them again, I lost count. <laughs> Let's see. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So uh, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do so. I'm going to show you how to start the next row. So we'll pretend that we've already reached the number of foundation single crochets that we need. Also, can we just like take a minute and appreciate, like look how nice it looks from the side too. Like there are just V's everywhere. The sides, the bottom, the top. It's gorgeous. I love this stitch. Um, so since we're doing single crochets, We'll most likely start our next row with just one chain as the turning chain and then we turn our work and then you're going to work single crochets as you usually do working below the stitch insert your hook oops gotta tighten that a little bit yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and um, i'll just finish this row because at the end is where it gets a little bit tricky you're like oh is there another stitch there I don't I can't tell um, but if you did eight foundation single crochets your next row should still have eight um, so you just count your stitches if ever you're not sure so this should be my eighth stitch let's just double check and count two three four five six seven eight yes but doesn't it kind of look like I got one more there right no, I don't. That is the um, part of the two chains that I did at the very, very beginning. And it becomes the back of my single crochet. So notice at the back of my single crochets, they all have these loops here. Um, that is part of a single crochet. That's the back of a single crochet. And if ever you're not sure, just count your stitches. It should match however many foundation stitches you did. And then you start your next row like normal. Chain one, turn your work, and work your single crochets. So I'll stop there. In another video, I'll show you how to do um, doubles. And then in another, I'll show you how to do half doubles. And just like, look at the stretch you get. And it just looks so pretty too. Cool. All right, that's it for foundation single crochets. Happy making.